what's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop out here. People always ask me where to stay in Susua. Now, I don't do no promos, so you know, I don't really mess with the hotels and stuff like that. No promo at all. But I'm gonna give you guys some places that I, I've stayed at and that friends of mine have stayed at, and you can judge for yourself, you know, on your own accord. Um, if a place doesn't make this list, they might not be no good. I don't know. But these are places that me and my friends have stayed at. And we can give you a, you know, a roundabout idea of each hotel. So the first hotel on my list is Villa Chesa. Villa Chesa. That hotel is all the way at the other side of Sasua by the Athawas Casino in Playa Chiquita. Now the reason, now this is no particular order by the way. The reason that hotel is on that list is because that's where I stayed at for 18 trips. Yes. My first hotel and then I stayed there for 18 trips. So... Villa Chess is a nice hotel. I believe it's like 50, 55 a night. Basic stuff, one bedroom. Uh, I don't believe it has a kitchen. Excuse me, um, fridge, living room, you know. Nice accommodations. Uh, it was my first hotel ever and I just stayed there a bunch of times and I like it. So, nice pool, I've thrown some parties there as well. So Villa Chess, that's one of the hotels in Sasua that we can say is a nice hotel. Um, Europa, Europa's an oldie but goodie. Uh, some people like Europa. I know they have some upgraded rooms and some um, upgraded apartments. They did new TVs, new beds, and all that. Really nice spot. Europa is in the middle of the strip. Well, not the middle of the strip. Excuse me, the middle of Sasua, uh, all the way down the strip on uh, in El Bate. So it's a nice place, Europa. That's one. A lot of my friends like that spot. And as I said, they upgraded some rooms. Uh, Casa Valeria. It's a nice hotel. Actually, Casa Valeria was kind of basic, but they upgraded the rooms and they're really nice. King size beds, flat screen TVs, and such, such like that. Nice pool area as well. Um, as you guys know, each hotel has different rules, so you know you gotta respect their rules. I would say ask ask the rules before you book your your uh, room, because each one is different. Each one says uh, about guests. You know they have like different different rules and such like that. So you gotta find out for yourself. Um, what other hotel? Let's see. New Garden. I've never been a fan of New Garden. I've thrown parties in New Garden. Um, New Garden, I tell everybody, if you're a newbie, that might be where you want to start at. I call it the frat house because it's kind of crazy in there. But you will meet a lot of people on, on, on vacation. Um, a, lot of, a lot of good guys. You bump into guys who know, have good information. Vets who have been here for a long time. So, you know, I always tell people, New Garden is a place where if you're a newbie, you may want to start out there. If, it's, if it, that frat house mentality or that frat house atmosphere is not for you, then you may not want to stay there. But for a newbie, if you're trying to get information and meet, meet, meet like-minded people, then that's the place you want to go. Uh, Urban Cabana, also on the, off the strip. Urban Cabana is a nice spot. Well, I think it is. Some people, it's 50-50. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, they only have six rooms, so it books up quick. But it's a nice setting. They got a nice uh, roof area to go party in and stuff like that. And it's cool. You know, it's just something different. Urban Cabana. Only six rooms, like I said, 50-50. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, sea Breeze, nice cheap hotel. A lot of my friends stay there, been staying there for years. It's a, it's a nice spot. Um, I've never stayed there myself, but a lot of my boys live by it. They only stay at Sea Breeze. I think they started like 40 a night, something like that. So, you know, um, one of, one of, a basic hotel, basically, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and as you guys know, they have apartments around town. You gotta look, you can Airbnb, uh, villas. Most people that ask for villas, I hook them up with my guy, EQ Esteban. Um, he has EQ management for Sasua. He does a lot of villas. And he also has Payasa properties if you want a spot in Colombia. So when it comes to villas, I always hook my boy up with, uh, my people's up with uh, EQ management for Sasua. And as I said, he has Payasa properties in Colombia. You know? So that's basically a quick rundown of the hotels. Uh, as I said, the hotels that my, me and my people stay at, Villa Chesa. Sea Breeze, New Garden, Casa Valeria, Urban Cabana, Europa. Uh, as I said, no particular, no particular order. If the hotel didn't make this list, then it is what it is. Uh, but these are the hotels I know my people stay at. As I said, no promo, just giving you guys an idea of where to stay at in Sasua that may be a nice place. As I said, me and my people have stayed at these places, um, and we've had a good time. So, you know. Mr. Flip Flop, more videos coming. I appreciate the love and support. Like and share. As I said, no particular order. These are just the best spots to stay at as far as me and my peoples are concerned and the experiences my friends have had, okay? So I appreciate you guys. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out.